Hello everyone. In this video, we will check out the wait for images component. The wait for images component enables you to change automation execution flow based on image information on the screen. The component can be used for identifying the state of the business application or an item based on error or status icon. Let's go ahead and see how it works. So first of all, create a new RPA project, call it wait for images. Go to the main activity, expand wait. Here you can find the wait for images component. Drag and drop the wait for images component on the design surface. Here press the plus icon to add more and more images. You can add as many images as you want and each one will have a different workflow. So let's say for example you want to search something on YouTube but you want to make sure that YouTube is already open. Click on this icon. The press ctrl plus shift for selection will appear on right top of the screen. Go to your YouTube screen and press ctrl plus shift. The mouse cursor will change to a crossover. Select the YouTube icon which ensures that your YouTube window is open. Once that is done, go back to IntelliBot Studio and you will see the icon appear here. Next, we'll go ahead and add a message box show saying found YouTube and connect this to this low. For now, we will remove the remaining wait for images and search only for YouTube and display the message found YouTube. So let's go ahead and run this automation from here. So it is now running. If we open our YouTube screen, it will find YouTube and show this message box found YouTube. Click on OK. We can add as many images here as we want and the flow of automation accordingly. Here for this component, we also have properties like wait options where we can select wait for all images in case we want to continue to some operation that should only be continued when all of these images are found or wait for any which is by default. So if any of these images are found, the, the simultaneous flow will be executed. Wait for all to vanish. So all images can come to the screen. Once they all disappear from the screen, then only the flow will continue and wait for any image to vanish. So any of these images they disappear from the screen, the flow will continue from there. We also have properties like we also have properties for scrolling. Double click on this component. A new window will open up here. We can select scroll search. Enabling scroll search will scroll on the page and search for images that are there in this component. So we can give here scroll start image and a scroll end image. So the screen will be scrolled from this image to this image and we can take provide these images in the similar format clicking on this and then pressing ctrl plus shift. So that is how we provide images to search from start of scroll image to end of scrolling and here we also have scroll keys. So the home key will be pressed whenever we have to go to the top and whenever we have to scroll down this page down key will be pressed. There are a lot more properties for different functions. For example, we have timeout if none of these images are found for 60 seconds, then it will go to the else category and execute from there. So that's pretty much it of how wait for images works. Thank you. Intellibot. Excellence made simple.